how is it the first stage? This is what the first stage would look like if there were 12 people in the team. I don't know why the knockback worked that way, but I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna let it let it go. Yeah, the higher the scaling, the harder the first level. But if you make it past the first level, the rest of the game is pretty easy once you're high enough. So, like, if I can beat the first level at this 12 player, then I win. But the first level is really hard. So usually I won't do that. Nah, Engineer's pretty good at high scaling, in my experience. lot of damage. The treasures from the tome are just um, pickups worth money. Uh, by default, I don't know if it changes based on multiplayer. Uh, so I'm, it's $25 uh, dollars and it scales with time. So I'm assuming that in single player it is the cost of one basic tier one chest. That's my guess, is how it scales. Uh, and it stacks for higher drop chance, not for more money. 4% per, and I don't know if that's multiplicative or additive. There is a mod that uncaps your uh, player count. Like, for real people, you can play with, you, you can do a 12 player lobby if you want. If you've got 11 people that are down. The reason to make it multiplicative is so that it has continual benefits for stacking rather than maxing. That That's the reason, pretty much. So yeah, I don't know if they did that or not, but you're just saying there's no reason there. There's one clear reason. Okay, I'm going to take the Breon Accumulator.
Oh, that would have been wonderful to have. I'm good over there. Oh, brain stocks. That's the one. Escaped for a second. <laughs> Seconds better than no time at all. So I got that going for me. Okay, I think I got all those items. By the way, multitudes breaks the tome. By the way, like I said, by the way twice. But anyway, uh, I don't get any money when I pick up the treasures from the tome. That's just how it is. Was there a crit printer? How are my white items? Would I be sad to lose any? Kinda. We'll see at the end of the level. You still don't know how it's multitudes breaking in and not share suite? Probably because the item has some sort of multiplayer code to it, like changes the amount it's worth or something. Oh, look at this. Ow. Yeah, I killed it. Yeah, I would like to skip the Tesla. I didn't think the skybox was that high. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I really thought that it would bring me back eventually. Freebies, I can do good damage with this. Sadly, I can't do. Why is the skybox so high? Anyway. Commands use exclamation point, definitions use um, question mark. The reason some of them that seem like commands are, in fact, definitions is because. Mods didn't add them, and uh, voiced users in the bot, as in people that we've manually added extra permissions for, are able to add definitions, but not commands. 
So they bypass not being able to add commands by adding a definition for what the command would be. And that is just how it is. Okay, I would like to kill one elite enemy. No, you couldn't really say the same about gasoline because gasoline's damage is mediocre. It won't play the game for you because it can't. It is not good enough. Now, where is the teleporter exactly? It's just right there. Yeah, Tesla is good enough. But, like, normally I, I don't really care too much about Tesla. It doesn't really... Like, you can stay out of range of enemies if you want to. None of these are close enough to the ground, unfortunately, so I can't actually use brain stocks for evil purposes too effectively. But yeah, you can stay out of Tesla range. You can't stay out of fireworks range or ceremonial dagger range. So it's actually probably best if I don't finish the teleporter event for a little while, if possible. Uh, the more enemies I get, the more likely I am to have killed an elite recently. So the more I can spam good damage. I have 11 imaginary friends. You don't need crowbars for the wisp to kill everything instantly. Once you have a hundred wisps or so, you literally can't do anything but kill everybody instantly. That is your fate. I thought I would be out of range of that, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Oh. Neat. go. Ah, 
Ah, sad. I thought that might actually hit the boss. Okay, I am a pinball now. No Genesis loops. Interesting. I'm not using the money scaler, no. That one didn't work for me. I it, I tried it and it did nothing. Uh, I'm using the one, I'm using money is shared. That's what it's called, money is shared. I turned everything else off in share suite and turned on money is shared. Just hit the ground. Wasted all of my activation. It's not hitting anything. Yeah, ideally, once I loot this level, I will be strong enough that I have won. Multitudes doesn't have any options regarding money. It's Share Suite that has the money options. Multitudes just lets you scale, but ruins money. There we go. Cooldown reduction is useful. Share suite. That's the mod I would advise. That's what I've been saying. Go time. Could do that a lot faster with the ceiling. No ceiling this time. Okay, I can't actually aim, so. Down we go. Oh no. I have to risk my life for this, unfortunately. Turn off every option in share suite except turn on money is shared. Uh, there's a settings like XML file or something uh, that you can just edit instead of having to use the console commands. It'd be the most convenient way to do it. Brain stocks, stacks for time. 
how long you're brain stalking. Okay, I really need to kill these. God dang it. Okay, now we're in much better shape. This is only 12 players, not 20. Okay, I'm back. Went to space real quick. Exclamation point fireworks. Uh, glass helps a lot, so I try not to take it too much. Like, I had one where I got to the end of the first level and I was fighting the boss. And I had, um, I was losing to the scaling. And there was a glass already on the level that I ignored. I took it in that case. But, like, lunars help a lot. So, if I can do it without lunars... It's more interesting. But I definitely more specifically try to avoid glass than other lunars. Because glass has probably the biggest impact of them. Uh, I would like to go back there, so I'm, I'm just going to do it. Okay, I'm on top of it, chat. I had important things to deal with. Okay, I gotta go. Important things like not dying right now. Nope, nope, stop. I hate it here. Kazel Verna, thank you for the 500 bits. Thanks so much. Appreciate your support and generosity as always. Alright, so things I've learned in my adventures here, do not activate combat shrines, they have boss health rather than enemy health. So combat shrines are freaking impossible on high scaling. Because bosses are freaking impossible on high scaling. No, you don't really need the money from combat shrines most of the time. And, like, even if you did, you can't kill them early in the game. And late in the game, you need them less. So, basically, they are just non-options. They become things you can't do. that'll kill them. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Did not kill them. 
am not surprised. I got 20 stacks of bleed on that boss. Uh, you know, let me tell you, on the list of things that I don't like, that was up there. Stone Sonder, thank you so much for 60 months of support. It has been a while. Thank you for keeping the sub alive nonetheless. And uh, it's good to see you. Uh, this is gonna be bad. I have many layers of feelings about all of the frickin' titans that are spawning right now. Alright. <laughs> feeling better. If the Titan laser got weaker with distance, would it be better balanced? I guess, sure. But if you can get far away, you can get cover, generally speaking. Because, like, usually the reason that you're unable to not get hit is because they spawned in a place where there isn't cover. And you have no options, generally. So usually, if you can get farther away there's not, like, any danger. Stone Titan may be one of the easier bosses, but that doesn't mean it's a fair boss. Like, it's not about making it easy. Brainstocks is fantastic. On some characters. On some characters, it doesn't really matter. as well shoot one off. Keep one on cooldown, you know? That did a big chunk. You know, I guess brain stocks probably would be pretty good on Artificer, huh? But I feel like you'd need at least two. Because, like, the amount of time it takes to use any of her skills is just too dang high. printer. How much? 9806. That's a little expensive, don't you think? Uh, 
Uh, no, I never use Shrines of Order because they're bad. I should install the Chaos Shrine mod, though, because then they might be fun. I should have just taken that. Oh, I got it. Good. All right, I'll buy it. And, like, the thing is, at high scaling, it's kind of like having a Shrine of Order a lot of the time because you just get, like, so many more of any item in a stack than you would ever see otherwise. So it's like you get Shrines of Order without the lack of fun. The Chaos Shrine mod changes Shrines of Order so that instead of making every item one item of a tier, it randomly replaces each item with another item of that tier. So it's like what Shrines of Order probably should be in order to not be like the dumbest thing with no actual value. And like minimal fun factor. The big drone always dies. It's terrible. Like, I, I don't know if they're ever gonna make it not terrible. pretty sure I no I had a bunch of syringe or not syringes I had a I had a bunch of leaching seeds maybe I had a couple leaching seeds on the run where I did a, um, 96 syringes on commando and I still couldn't out heal things that could kill me but I think this was before the um, blazing nerf so <laughs> Oh yeah, Blazing was totally stupidly overpowered. Definitely should have been nerfed. Like, they did the right thing with that. When did I get 13 leeching seeds? Right, boss. Boss dropped leeching seeds. I was there. That happened. To me. It's an order shrine. Aha, XD.
Did I see? I did see. Oh, I missed. I need that. Thank you. Okay, there's like a little much going on here. Oh, this is this filter is so bad right now. Now it's fine. Honestly though, if all damage were avoidable by being good, maybe Blazing wouldn't have had to be nerfed. Cause like I feel like if Blazing was super punishing, kind of like how uh, overloading is, as long as you could not get hit because you knew what to do, which you can't in this game a lot of the time, it would probably have worked. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure Tonic and the um, Brainstock's visual effects apply at the same time and are hideous. Right, I know, they won't fix the Stone Titan. I'm sure they just intend it to not be fair, and that's just how it is. But if they did, yeah, lesser wisps as well. I doubt they'll fix them. <laughs> But if they did, boy, the possibilities. It's only stage three because this is what stage three would look like if there were 12 people here in this lobby playing this video game. I should have taken the turtle there. I think it's an unimportant thing this time. Okay, don't have to go up. There's nothing there. What's the unlock for brain stocks? Kill 500 elites? No, that's the dumb. Um, that's the guillotine. What is the unlock for brain stocks? Okay, that's fine. Elite boss on Monsoon, gotcha. It's like the only thing you have to do on Monsoon, pretty much, as well as alternate skins, but. Alternate skins aren't like actual game altering content. Yeah, they addressed the uh, engineer alt skin thing in their latest developer thoughts. Because they don't currently have it in place where the skin could apply to the turrets. And, I mean, the skin's got to apply to the turrets. Or why even have it? So.
Oh yeah, it's definitely a good thing that Monsoon isn't required for pretty much anything. Stocks is a build, dude. This really does hurt my head, though. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with the visual screen overlay. Like, ugh, it's so painful. think that this is a thing. I have 14 glaives, by the way. I don't know if bloom is the visual overlay of just a color to show that you've activated something. No, the elite items don't apply to turrets because they're active items. I'm done looting. I'm good. No, I like actually have a headache now. <laughs> I really hope that they're getting a lot of feedback that says that just overlaying a color on the, like a color filter on the screen is really bad. I'll get the red chest. okay with them just having the effects that they have. Like, brain stocks is right there. I don't need a purple overlay. I mean, yes, okay, to be fair, I don't look down there a lot, and it's not super evident necessarily, but like, it's there. We don't need a painful, headache-inducing purple thing over the entire screen. What are you? <laughs> More great stuff. Okay. I mean, I've done 32 player scaling so far with Rex. Some characters are just better at it than others. Yeah, brainstock stacks for duration. 
It is... Four seconds plus four per stack. And they haven't implemented the thing, so I guess it's a uh, whole 12 seconds now. That's a lot. They buffed it this update. Uh, it used to be three seconds plus two per stack or something. Which would get seven at this um, number of brain stocks. Okay, okay, I respect it. I don't want to get killed. Thanks. I don't think that that would accomplish it if the filter got less intense each time it activated, even down to a point. I don't think that's... Maybe it would, though. Like, maybe that's something that, like, once you've seen it at full intensity, you start noticing it at lower intensities more easily. Like, maybe it would work that way. Ah. Like, maybe the brain would be trained to it pretty, pretty effectively. But I don't know. I'm not going to use prions constantly. That's just too much. Neural stacks for um, health up 40 per 1.6 regen per stack. So it just stacks linearly. It's a good stack. What's the item cooldown now? Uh, let's see, where's my first fuel cell? We'll see next level. Right here. 99.9% .9 cooldown reduction. So it's gonna be like one second. Once it recharges one time. You actually can't unload prions quickly. You can't start shooting another Prion until the first Prion has fired. But, you know, there they go. So see, it's recharged already, but I can't shoot it again. Until it's already fired. So I literally cannot unload all of the Prion shots. I can't get even one charge down from max charges. Yeah, so with an item where you can use it as fast as you want, like most items, in fact, just Prion is like this, I think, um, Gesture can use them fast enough so that you have zero. You'll just constantly hear the activating use item sound, and it's pretty annoying. But I can't, even spamming with two fingers, uh, use it fast enough to get more than a couple stacks down. It just recharges too fast. They're just the two Beetle Queens with their measly 3 million health. Hello, thank you for the brain stocks. Well, 32 times scaling, I think, is only doable on Rex. That's my take. Only doable for me. There might be some people way more legendary than me that can just do it.
I use the other Vagrant for cover? I think that's pretty good. Oh, you have Infusion, eh? I hope you don't have a stupid item that you shouldn't have. Because that would sure suck. He has Jade Elephant. The other one's dead. because it was right there. I don't think that fireworks would make the difference for um, 32 scaling. I would take Tesla on 32, though. Uh, I missed the teleporter, by the way. I thought I hit it, so I was waiting, but I did not, in fact, hit it. Anyway, uh, fireworks would not be the difference, I don't think. There's just too much going on. Elite Scavenger just takes a long time. It happens, I think. I'm pretty sure I've gotten them. Though, of course, I get them sooner on high scaling than you get them. That Scavenger has a... Uh, wood Sprite. Every character's decent at high scaling. Like, I'm pretty sure that 10 player is totally fine for pretty much everybody. Like, if you're actually decent with the Artificer, unlike me, I would assume that Artificer could handle 10 player scaling. It's somewhere around there, though, that it starts becoming, like, too hard to do the first level for a lot of characters, probably. And maybe you're better than me. Maybe that's not the case for you. Oh, this is nasty. Uh, what do you have? Oh, I already know what you have. Never mind. I'm still gonna kill you. Oh, it had a Dio. What a jerk. At least it only had one. going on? I'm like real confused. I'm incapable of moving, but I'm getting pulled somewhere. Can I? Okay, I can move now. How much health is what? 12 million for the boss? They should add commas to boss health. Like, they added commas to money. Why not boss? Oh, there we go. Back in business over here. I wish they weren't overloading. They have so much health. Oh. There we go. Now they're closer together. 
Please spawn some friends. There we go. Feel free to spawn some elite friends. There we go. Hit the Shrine of Combat. Not gonna do that. That's a bad idea. Ah, there's only one left. Well, I'm pretty sure my optimal damage is with Glaives, as long as there are more than one enemy present. But when there's only one, yeah, Arrow Rain will be a lot more effective. Shrine of Combat, it's just, it's harder than a boss. Because at least with bosses, I have um, some AP rounds. It may not be a huge help, but it's a help at all. What does 41 sides do? 168 health per crit. I don't know why multitudes wouldn't be working for you. Opinion's not that OP because I have to be close to an enemy in order for it to uh, actually, like, shoot any skulls. So a lot of the time I'm really not all that close to enemies uh, with this particular build. So Opinion would not matter too much, uh, unless I wanted it, in which case it wouldn't. It's so weird how being over there sends me up here. Oh, I finally ran out of brain stocks. back. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen Void Reavers in quite a while. They just haven't been showing their faces. Okay. I don't want to get hit by that. I'm 
pretty sure Void Reavers can spawn on first loot, I think. I thought that, um, at least for a little bit, I thought that Scavengers couldn't appear on the first loot, but they, they can appear on the first loot just fine. Rose Bucklers is 450 armor. Jade Elephant is 500. So it's right about there. Yeah, the color effect is real gross. Oh no, they're Void Reavers. We found them. Pinball again. <laughs> Good luck, plain side. I believe in you. Oops, I am apparently looping again. Wait. I might have saved it. I did not save it. All right, well, guess we're going around again. I did not mean to do that. I could just get one shot by a scavenger. Not that unlikely. Hey buddy, I hope you don't have a capacitor, because that would sure suck. Teleport, oh gosh, what do you have? Doesn't seem to be the item. Oh man, it's just, it hurts over here. I don't like this place. I don't think that bloom off is what we're what we're in need of. Like it's exactly the same. Here's the teleporter. Nasty. I used a lot of Shrines of the Mountain. Of course they have 30 million health. It's 
Celestine enemies have a lot more health. Now, of course, I only have to do about half of this damage. Thanks to having four guillotines. So I got that going for me. Yeah, scavengers can use prions. This is not less painful to my eyes at all. This affected nothing. Man, I was hoping that I would get stuck on that there ceiling. Oh, now I'm in one-shot territory. Let's go. Doesn't look any different to me. Like what? Blurry? When was it blurry? Like I'm glad it's working for some of you, but I actually can't tell the difference. if it's encoding related. But like, you know, whatever. Maybe you won't be able to tell anything happened if you watch it on YouTube, where the bitrate is, you know, up to 35,000. So what I've learned is the scavenger does not seem to have a capacitor. And that's what I can be happy about. There we go. There are birds everywhere. I have too many birds now. I missed the friggin' teleporter again. Sixty-seven thousand. All right, I'll be back for you, maybe, if I remember. Not this again. I 
I mean, they only have 13 million health compared to 30. So, I mean, that's nice. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I'm so glad that I can escape that. Ouchie, ouchie, get me out. Yeah, I mean, I think that the idea behind scavengers is cool. It's just the execution that's lacking for now. Big band. That's the one with the cube. Oh, I actually hit it. What a beast. Oh, I didn't get this, though. Well, I did my best. Uh, let's see, what do 50 bands do? 13,250%. What do you have? This is my radar scanner, boy. It'll help me scavenge. Yeah, those chests have red items in them. God, I also have head stompers, so it's very easy to just go to space. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. One mountain shrine sounds mighty comfy right now. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, there's one right next to me. Oh. Oh, that's right. I have the band. The band does the damage. You know what? This will do the damage eventually. pick up those gasolines. You can kill my beetle guards and then I'll be on fire indefinitely. That would be very bad. No, not you too. What do you have? Are you gonna... Is that what I think it is? Are you gonna turn into a fireball? It, it straight up is. Oh my goodness. And see you later. <laughs> well, that was good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I feel so much better about ha that having happened to me now. And unlike me, 
enemies that do that are guaranteed to die, so that's cool. What a freaking nerd. Oh, hey. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, take me back. I get one item for every player in the game. And then I get one more for every mountain shrine. Like, per player. Scavenger had red whip. That's fine. That scavenger can live its sprinting dreams or its fast dreams, whatever. Rex's third skill does push um, teapots. It pushes Dune Strider. So... I mean, you could just get a Dune Strider on the edge and push it off with it. Uh, what I think I may have done once, and I totally forgot about it until now, like, ish, is if you come over here, enemies will ride that, and you just jump out here and you push it, and it'll just fall to its death. And it's very funny. Like, I would recommend doing that to everyone. Like, they should all... Everyone should do it once. Think it had to be on the second stage? Well, I mean, they can spawn on uh, the aqueduct. There is, there are two spots where you can push them off the edge. There are two pits that kill on the aqueduct. So. what I just said. Well, there can't be mountain shrines on this level. This level just doesn't have them in the pool of loot, loot objects that can spawn. I was just looking for uh, the antenna. Yeah, each scavenger gets one use item. And they can get some pretty stupid use items that they should absolutely not be able to get. So, pretty good time. Uh, I'm not stuck. I'm unstuck. Blazing imp, it's right there. And it's dead. My eyes. Antennas are the environment logs. They're just a rare loot object that can replace... Uh, oh, actually, I don't know how they work. But they're a rare loot object that can spawn. And uh, you buy them, and they go into your logbook. And they tell you about the level. They are the environment logs for regular logs. Instead of just getting a book. This was 12 player scaling. Razor wire stacks for number of shots it fires and the range that it'll uh, go, like that it'll track enemies.
No, I don't have a, a bead. 